NFL on EA Sports, and we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Indianapolis Colts. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's Foles. Flush to his right. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton, and the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. I'm not sure exactly what they had planned for play number one from scrimmage, but I can guarantee it wasn't that interception. No, no doubt about that one, because in their daydream, this was going to be a dream play to get things started. Instead, it turned into a nightmare for them. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. They had a great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover? We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. A dump down to McKinnon. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. It's complete. And he will get in to make it 8-0. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Well, going deep here for Taylor. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They'll try and throw for it here. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down as this defense went a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. Mission accomplished on that throw. Slam, pick up the first down. I like how he just put it on the receiver and didn't lead him on that one. Happened quickly. Defense, not much they could do. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Foles. And incomplete on the deep ball. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Foles. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. One quarter down, 8 nothing. the score. That's the end of the first quarter, with the score, Chiefs 8, Colts nothing, nothing. I don't miss you, I don't miss you! On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier to shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Now Mahomes. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. Sliding out of the pocket. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down about the two. 43, 43. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. 
And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. On second and nine, Foles. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Out of the gun now on third down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by LeJarius Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game to all their teammates. Maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. They'll run here with Taylor. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. A loss of two there, second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. On second and goal, Foles. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Trent McDuffie with a pick. He's at the 50. 30, 10, 5, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Wow, this one, it is getting out of hand early. They add a pick six to the ledger now. Three-score lead still in the first half. And all that celebrating that you see and hear from those defenders, it's not just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six. It's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. To throw on second and six, Foles. This one completes Alec Pierce. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. From the 41, Foles. And now here's another interception. 
interception. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. There he goes, left side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I mean, at this point, CD, what is not going their way in this first half? After that pick six, they now have a four possession lead here. And that allows them to say to themselves, how about we get everybody involved, okay? Because this one is a runaway. And it's looking like it's going to be even more of a runaway. Everybody gets a chance to play and get a little bit of love. The more guys that need to watch the highlight reels from this one, the better. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach when he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that they operate off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Second down, another run with Taylor. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. So they'll get nothing out of that play at its second down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play. We're able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. And he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here, look to throw. Hammering for the goal line, he loses the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. 
and these guys have been taking advantage so well, Mahomes can't get away and down he goes Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line and as they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter this is the National Football League on EA Sports And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, and now it's first and 10. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Right back to him on first down. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Mahomes going to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Line eight. Zero, 15. They'll try and run for it. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So fourth and goal. Their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in. And this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. The 71 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. They run once more with Taylor. And some space here. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. 
from the gun, it's Taylor. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley-Cox. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to throw that's going to be caught and somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown but they still trail big time he'll take it but he won't be able to smile about it and now the Colts are going to keep the offense on the field as they'll go for two here Foles will look to throw and they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone and that cuts the lead a bit further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but well, we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off in. And this is caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Flushed out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just said, well, my kicker's hurt in this one. No, no, okay. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of